Nelson Mandela's family issued its first statement on his passing today, saying in part, quote, we have lost a great man, a son of the soil, whose greatness in our family was in the simplicity of his nature in our midst. For more on the Mandela family, we're joined now by Deborah Pata in Johannesburg. Deborah, what can you tell us about how the family is saying goodbye to Nelson Mandela? Well, there's a constant stream of visitors here at the Mandela House in Halton. Nelson Mandela's widow, Grassa Michelle, appears to be holding up, always graceful, under pressure, despite looking, we understand, pretty exhausted and devastated. Earlier this week, she summoned the family to the home when it appeared Nelson Mandela was fading fast, and they were allowed into his room to say what eventually would become their final goodbyes. Jim? But Deborah, in the months leading up to this moment, you had been reporting on some infighting among family members. Now that the moment is here, how is everyone getting along? Well, this week really is all about unity. So whatever happened over the past six months has been put aside, at least for now. And today, earlier this evening, members of the family, the entire family, attended a prayer service here in Houghton. And I'm sure some of them at least will attend one of the many church services being held around the country as part of the National Day of Prayer. And they'll be joined by throngs of South Africans who I think are really defining the mood of the moment. United, diverse groups of all races celebrating their love and respect for Nelson Mandela. Jim? Deborah Pat, in the midst of such a wonderful crowd, thank you so much.